Hey everybody, welcome to Mighty Moon Medicine. I am Josie Moon, and I wanna share with you one of my favorite plant allies known as Chaga, Inonitus obliquus, also known as the Nordic Sage, as I like to call her, because she grows in the Northern Hemisphere where it gets very cold. In fact, you're probably not gonna find her growing below the New York State line. So, and Sage, because she's just one of the wisest in the woods. So she grows predominantly on birch trees, okay? And her exterior is like a very black, charcoal-y look, okay? But the inside of her is this beautiful golden brown. Yeah. And she is just a powerhouse of medicinal properties, just like our other beautiful adaptogenic mushroom. So chaga is the absolute highest known form of antioxidants, okay? She sur far surpasses everything else on the antioxidant charts. Um, she's also really good for the skin. She helps regenerate organs and glands. Um, what else? She's uh, been used in cancer cases as uh, for cancer treatment. She's uh, anti-inflammatory. She also is good for the digestive tract. She's good for our skin. And she's just a wonderful, delicious, little scrumptious item here. So um, I found her this fall, I guess it was, or this summer um, in the Catskill Mountains, this large chunk and a very sacred piece of land for my family where I grew up. Um, and this is what I got from her gratitude to to Chaga. So if you want to ingest her and get all of her amazing properties, then you can do it two ways. You can um, make a hot water extraction, okay? Where you're going to take a couple of chunks, by a couple I mean a handful of chunks, or if you have Chaga powder, um, I don't know, a half a cup of powder or something, but like, just like this is all you're gonna need for, this is a half gallon here. So if you have a half gallon of spring water, this is plenty. And then once you make your hot water extraction by bringing it to a boil and then letting it simmer for at least two hours, um, you can take your chunks, put them in the refrigerator and make another batch. You can reuse the same chunks of chaga up to five times um, because a lot or a little goes a long way. So something amazing about if, um, chaga is if you've ever been in a sap house, um, well I have because my family made maple syrup growing up. I grew up in a little town called Maple Crest, hence maple syrup and maple trees. So when you're making the hot water extraction, the smell that's coming off um, the steam smells like that of sap when you're boiling sap from the maple tree to make maple syrup. So actually you can even smell, I can even smell a little bit of birch in her even still now. So she takes on the delicious properties of uh, birch and the smell of birch as well. So this is what she looks like after I've sawed the large chunk that I got because she's that hard that you need a saw. Um, this is like the chaga powder that came from um, getting everything, getting her into chunks like this. So I took her powder and I put her in a tincture, okay? So um, chaga powder and vodka, and this is going to get your ethanol or alcohol soluble properties from the chaga, okay? So there's medicine in that, and then there's medicine in the hot water extraction that you can only get through heat and hot water. So after that, after macerating her in vodka for six weeks and making my hot water extraction, I combine the two and I get my dual extraction tincture. So you're getting the well-rounded totally encompassing benefits of what chaga has to offer. So if you're interested in my tincture, you can go get it at www.mightymoonmedicine.com. Voila. <laughs> so this is my own personal bottle of tincture and 
And you can just see how dark that is. So she's actually really delicious added to your morning coffee. So once you've made your water extraction, um, you can just take the take the the tea, the chaga tea, and you can pour it, um, add it to your coffee, or I make pour overs. So I like to pour it directly into the coffee cone as the water and have it filter through the grinds. And it's a much more harmonious um, coffee experience where you're not completely jittered out of your face and <laughs> it really she she softens on your adrenal system and it's just uh it's just better to drink coffee that way so there you have it my lovely friend chaga you can also just take a, a dropper full of tincture and add it to your coffee as well if you don't feel like making the tea so yes thank you nordic sage um i love you dearly and thanks for checking out this video